everybody. Thanks for tuning in to the video on this 2017 Acadia Limited. Uh, this was the last year for the Acadia in this body style. Uh, as you know, if you go to the 18 Acadia, you're going to be looking at a completely different car. Some of the benefits of this body style, though, uh, this body is six inches longer and has a standard V6 compared to the new Acadia, which is six inches shorter and has a standard four cylinder. Um, so this body, like I said, is the last year for the bigger body in the Acadia. Starting off uh, here on the side, you can see you have a really good looking, uh, looks like be about a 20 inch chrome rim there, mounted up with a uh, Bridgestone Dueler tire. Continuing back, you do have uh, chrome door handle accents as well as the black molding there on the lower part of the doors. That helps to keep uh, the car free from chips, scratches, uh, dents, if anything, rocks and things like that get thrown up off the road. Do have your matching rim and tire there in the back and that black molding continues around to the back of the car. Do have all of your GMC, Acadia, Limited, and all-wheel drive badge in there. That Limited is just uh, to note that they did make both bodies, the Acadia, uh, a little bit in, the set in 17. Uh, this is, like I said, the older body. Continuing up here. Just like to show you some of the features on the interior here. You do have power windows, locks, and mirrors located on a standard fashion here on the door. They are power folding mirrors. Uh, if you look here, you can see the settings for the memory seat and memory mirrors. Uh, if you set everything to your liking, you can press these buttons and then have multiple drivers in this car and not have to adjust things separately. You just uh, hit one or two based on which profile you are in the car's memory. You can see all your power seat. Uh, the base of the seat does go forwards, backwards, as well as going up, down, and being able to tilt back and forth. Do you have an adjustable lumbar support there as well? And under, before we jump in, I'd just like to point out the nice uh, GMC factory rubber mats there. Jumping inside the car, you can see that there are two fobs here. Just another way we like to add value. I'll go over uh, some of the other things here in a little bit, but this is about $150 to a $200 value to buy this key and have it programmed. I'm going to fire it up. Over here on the left side, you can see you do have a heated steering wheel there, as well as your cruise controls located in a standard fashion. Bluetooth controls on the right with the radio volume controls located in behind that. Do have a dual zone climate control here for the driver and the passenger, as well as your controls for the uh, driver and passenger heated leather seats there. Trailer, uh, trailer mode, as well as your hatch adjustment, traction control, and rear wiper controls are also located down here. Coming up here, you can see that the car is equipped with navigation. Just like to point that out real quick. Going back, uh, if you go to the audio function of the car, uh, if you go to sources, show you AM, FM, and XM radio, as well as you do have the capability to Bluetooth audio to the vehicle. It is OnStar equipped. Get that on the way out here. Oops. Actually, before we get out of the vehicle, I'd like to point out another way that we add value is just to include the results of the mechanical inspection of the vehicle and any uh, any services that we did perform on that here in the glove locks of the car. So if you go through, it's just a uh, list of everything that we checked. Excuse me, real quick. And what was done to the car. So they checked out all these things and either replaced them or um, fixed them as needed. Uh, just to make sure that everything passed, did do an oil change as well as a filter and a new engine air filter that you can see there. Up top, you can also see that we did put a new cabin air filter in this vehicle. The tires were 830 seconds all around. Uh, we do rotate those, um, but they passed initially. They did not need to be replaced. Uh, brake pads, all new brake pads, all new rotors the whole way around. So the brake pads are 1330 seconds in the front and 1430 seconds in the rear. And the rotors are new as well, so you should be good on uh, wearable brake parts for probably three to four years of standard driving. Uh, tires are quadruple the Pennsylvania State minimum of two. So all of your wearable parts, including your air filler for both engine and cabin, have been taken care of. And an oil change. Stepping outside, this is the part of the video where I'm going to walk around and try to point out any imperfections that I, imperfections that I see on the vehicle. Uh, overall, the car is pretty darn clean. Don't see a whole lot to be concerned about, but I will try to point things out as I see them. Do have two little minor scratches here on the front of the car, as well as a few little chips there in the bumper. Uh, those chips are fairly similar on 
this section of the hood. You do have real small chips just located through here, some of which have been touched up. They actually probably all could be touched up um, a little bit here. Everything here looks good. I don't really see any dents, dings, scratches, nothing like that. Continuing back this side of the car, everything looks good there. Uh, the wheels, I should have pointed that out in the front, they all look good. I don't see any curbing, nothing like that there. Bumpers look good, hatch looks good. Overall, the exterior of the car is in very good condition. Uh, there's a couple minor chipping uh, things on the front there, but pretty standard for a uh, Northeast car. Actually, pretty good for a Northeast car uh, with the miles on it. Uh, overall, clean car, tons of features. It is the last year for this Acadia body. Like I said before, it is the 6-inch longer body with the V6 in it. Um, if you'd like to stop out and take it for a test drive, you can stop and see us at 21518 Great Cove Road in McConnellsburg. Visit us online at thomasata.com or give us a call at 717-485-4224. Thank you very much for watching the video and I hope you found it to be informative.